Hi guys, it's Louis from PC Repairman here. Normally Vader does our videos, but in our new shop today we have something rather special to show you. Now bear in mind it's my first video, so um, if the camera or the sound is a bit wonky or a bit strange, I do apologise. And I really do look like this, so don't be too alarmed. Okay. Now, a customer came to see us a few weeks ago and he was looking for a small compact recording PC for him to take the gigs in the studio. Now, the brief was it had to be small and fairly powerful. So we decided upon a couple of parts which I'm going to show you here uh, to use for the build. Now, starting at the top, we have an ASUS motherboard. It's a P8H61-I. Now the I stands for Mini ITX, which means it's a very small motherboard compared to the regular ATX boards. Um, we're going to be putting this inside a very nice Lian Li PCTU200 PC case, which um, you can see from the picture the front has a handle. Um, and uh, it's made of brushed aluminium, so it's really high quality. Uh, we'll start with unboxing the motherboard first, and then we'll come to the, the case in a short while. Okay, so let's take this box down and have a look at it. Now, from the outside, with the size of the box, you can tell it's going to be something quite small and special. So, um, let's open it up. Wow, it really is small. Um, uh, I'm sure most of you guys have seen ATX and micro ATX boards, uh, but I don't know if you've ever seen a board as small as this. It's probably quite similar to the shuttle boxes uh, that we, we used to have, um, but given that it is so small, it does have um, a fair amount of things packed into it, but obviously there's a clear omission of some things as well. There's also the expansion for uh, PCI Express only, no PCI. So any of the legacy cards that you have from PCI won't work. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute because um, we had to get a special PCI Express sound card for recording uh, because the PCI card that we wanted to put in uh, wasn't compatible. There's two DIMM slots for DDR3 RAM. Um, and on the back plane there's a USB 2, PS2, in fact there's four USB 2, two USB 3 which are the blue sockets, LAN, audio, um, and there's a, a triplet of um, video connections, HDMI, VGA and DVI. Now, because the board is um, socket 1155, um, it supports Sandy Bridge, so combined with a Sandy Bridge core CPU, uh, the, the, the graphics would be, should be pretty good or pretty decent. But in the case of um, if you wanted to um, improve or have gaming graphics, then you can always add additional graphics cards by the PC Express slot just here. As far as us, our customer goes, he doesn't particularly care much about graphics, he just wants pure power for doing his audio, so the built-in graphics will be fine. Most of these uh, motherboards are usually designed for home theatre PCs, uh, but they do just as well for any other use as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it looks very compact, it's about the size of, size of my hand, or uh, slightly larger, and uh, looks pretty full-featured. Now. This board we're going to be using, um, we're going to be fitting an uh, i3 Intel chip at 2100. Um, it should be more than capable of running the programs um, our client wants to run. However, because the board is 1155, you should be able to fit an i5 or an i7, or anything up to an i7 in here without uh, any problems at all. Obviously with a, with a small case and a lot of heat, um, then it, it may not be the best to put the fastest chip in, but bear in mind it wasn't, it's not designed really for gaming. Um, the low power chip we're going to be using, uh, the socket uh, 115 i3 2100 which you see here, I won't bother unboxing this because uh, I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh, this CPU will be more than adequate for his needs and it runs pretty cool. Okay. Uh, back in the box, uh, that's pretty much it really. Uh, apart from the motherboard is the, the I.O. shield, a uh, generic uh, Asus model, and a couple of SATA cables, and um, uh, a manual and a CD. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, we'll be moving on to the uh, unboxing of the case in a moment. But in the meantime, thank you. Hi guys. Before we go and uh, look at the case, um, I thought it was probably best to have a quick close-up of the motherboard just to have a look at the, some of the other ports that are actually on the board itself. Now, despite it being a small motherboard, Asus have managed to 
pretty much cover all bases. Um, there's four SATA 2 connections for hard drives and CD-ROM drives, um, or DVD writers. Um, two extra headers for USB 2 here, uh, and uh, obviously the PCI Express um, socket for extra graphics, or in our case, um, a better sound card. Um, with the uh, power supply, it's interesting to note it's a regular 24 pin and 4 pin CPU supply it needs, so any power supply will do. And with the case that we're going to be using, no power supply is included. However, we'll take normal ETX power supplies straight into it. So there's no need to buy a specialized power supplies that you've seen in quite often these small cases um, required to get it going. So um, given that, uh, well, obviously with the exception of the motherboard, with standard set of components, RAM, hard drive, um, processor, CD-ROM drive, uh, and a power supply, you'll be able to get um, all your kit into a small box like this without too much of a hassle. Okay, thank you.